What a deck! Hello and welcome back to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're playing Dark Magician Toolbox. Now, if you just want to know what I'm playing and why I'm playing it, you can check out the deck profile, link down in the description. There, I'll go over the general deck philosophy, what I'm trying to do here. Otherwise, in this video, I'm just playing 10 duels against random opponents on EDO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you some combos, and hopefully, we'll have a little fun. <laughs> Alright, here we are. First duel versus Super Saiyan Gunbuster. Interesting name. And we get to go first, which is what you want to do here. This deck is not great going second. So I think to start out, we're going to go ahead and hit it with the Dark Magic Circle. We've got most of what we need here. Just see if we can grab something else. Yes, this lets you look at the top three cards, add a spell trap that mentions Dark Magician, and then stack the other two however you'd wish. So we'll go ahead and do that. Next, I'm going to Magician's Rod. When you normal summon this, you can get a Dark Magician card. Oh. Okay, he's going to use the infinite and permanence on that, which is fine, because we didn't really need that Dark Magician card. Um, well, kind of. <laughs> now that I think about it. No, this is fine. Okay, so we're going to special summon Apprentice Illusion Magician. We're going to discard that because it has a graveyard effect. And this is going to search us out the Dark Magician. Unless we get hit with, well then, unexpected and sad. Discount hand trap warehouse right off the bat. Okay, that puts us in a little bit of a tricky pickle. It, the, like the three cards you need to really get going in this deck is Dark Magic Circle, Eternal Will, and the Dark Magician. Hopefully a fusion. If you can get the fusion too, that would be nice. But he has stopped us from getting those things, so unfortunately, we're in a bit of spot of bother. And yeah, and I can't attack first turn. I don't know why I thought this wasn't. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set this too, just in case. And there we go. So, the bad news is we didn't get everything we needed. The good news is they used two cards from their hand, which means they're significantly down. And if they're playing a lot of hand traps, they might not have what they need to get started. Unless this is like Eldlich or some other meta deck that can get started with like one card. Okay, Dragon Maids, that could be a little bit difficult depending on how well they go. I know there's like a combo where they can pretty much just like loop and get out the fusion first turn every time. Or not first turn, but get it out every single turn. Almost in the way that uh, Invoked work. I'm not sure if Kitchen Dragon Maid is the one you need. You could add one. Okay, if this is normal or special summoned, you could do that. Okay, yeah, and then they've got the World Legacy. So this will let them get the fusion. So yeah, we may have lost this one already, unfortunately. That's the thing about this deck, is this deck, this deck has access to amazing drawing and search power. Hopefully you'll get to see it during this episode sometime. Just the amount of draws you can get. The, the consistency of this deck, even with like 44 cards and 3 garnets, still pretty high. But yeah, if you get hit with 2 hand traps and they're going to stop you from getting like getting 2 searches, you're going to be in for a, a, bit, of, a bit of trouble. Alright, setting cards. I mean, we'll see. We're not necessarily out of this. We do have a bunch of stuff we could top deck. Um, I'm going to go ahead and activate this now. This can, if you've got a Dark Magician in your hand or graveyard, it can summon it, or it can search Dark Magic Attack. We're going to do that now, so it's just one less card in our deck, so we can draw something. And that's a pretty good draw, assuming we're allowed to, to do it. Spellbook of Secrets. This is essentially Pot of Greed in a very roundabout way. You get this, and then you can search our one of, uh, what's it called? I just call him the Blue Boy. He's the spell. This will search any spellbook. Come on. What should, there we go. Yeah, we get, we just play one of this because you don't want a lot of normal summons in this deck. We've already got like six must-have normal summons. So I just play this at one and then use secrets if I need it to get him. If I'm available to normal summon. Return it to the hand and if you do, okay. So you get to do that. Gotcha, gotcha. And yeah, and then we play this and then there's another spell book uh, of knowledge. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, 
Will this activate in my hand? Yes. And just wipe the field and prevent me from searching. Because, yeah, this lets you send a... a um, Whatchamacallit? A spellcaster from your field to the graveyard to draw. So... Unfortunate. Yeah, I'd never... I don't think I've seen this before. Like, I know it existed, but I haven't... Uh, let's see. Return one spell trap. Ooh, that's hard counter. Yeah, because Eternal Soul is like, if it leaves the field, it's really good because not only does it search this, but it lets you just summon your, your Dark Magician over and over again. But if it returns from the... Or if it leaves the field, you destroy all monsters you control. That's the downside. And we've got ways to protect this, but only from, like, destruction and targeting, not from non-targeting bouncing, which is like, is this useful most of the time? It's really good. It's a hard counter. So, yeah, I'm going to assume we lose this one because just them being able to do this, unless we get something really good, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Uh, fortunately, it only activates if it's face up, but now that he's got a negate on board... That just screws us over. So yeah, I'll just skip ahead to the next duel. Hopefully we won't get hard countered by Dragon Maid downtime. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Second duel versus homie G Corndog. Going second most likely, unless they allow us to go first. Got a much better... Oh, they're allowing us to go first. Okay, and we've got a pretty decent hand. Uh, let's see. The big question in this is what to do first. I think we're going to go ahead and do Keeper of Dragon Magic. Normal summon, we can discard a card. And then search a, uh, fusion spell. Either Polymerization or Magicalized Fusion. We're going to go with Polymerization this time. Magicalized Fusion's more of a, another thing. And then, you can activate this. Reveal one fusion monster. And then if the card is in the graveyard... You could summon it face down. You can fuse with face down monsters, though. And since we got fucked up on that first one, I'm just gonna go ahead and summon Dragoon of Red Eyes. The biggest, bossiest monster this side of Boss Town. Then we're gonna do Magician Souls. We could send a Dark Magician or a Dark Magician Girl. Basically any spellcaster. Special summon this card, so we're gonna do that. And you might be like, why Dark Magician Girl? And it's basically because of this card, Soul Servant. This card lets you stack a Dark Magician card on top of your deck. We're going to go for the Dark Magic Circle. And then you can banish it from the graveyard to draw a card for every Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, or Mahad with a different name in your graveyard. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to negate that. Sucks to lose that, because that would have searched anything. But I really want the two draws. Um, and then we're gonna go for this. Dark Magical Circle. Alright. Reveal a Dark Magician card. Yep, we'll take that. And then we'll just stack this and this. Okay, so we got part of our thing. We've got... Um, oh, I could discard this to draw some... Oh, wait, I know exactly what's on top. Um, yeah, we've already fused... So we're good. Yeah, unfortunately, this Ash Blossom. I haven't seen this as much. This and Drollin Lock haven't been as popular lately, it feels like. Because they're not really as good against the, the meta decks they're going to search like four or five times anyway. But against us, a well-timed can, can really be the thing. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to stop this immediately. And since we've already Fusion Summoned, I'm going to use that. This thing can discard a card to negate anything once per turn, and then it gains a thousand attack permanently, also can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. It is pretty brutal. It's the, the whole meta in the OCG evolved when this came out because of how powerful it is, and plus the fact that you can summon it with, um, what's it called? Uh, ah, I see. You could summon it with Red Eyes Fusion really well. And I probably won't be playing this in any other deck. There's, a, they're like, they're straight up uh, sub-terror dragoon decks. Or like other, it's a, it looks like dragon, it's apparently pronounced dragoon. Just with like the, the weird U. But yeah, 
the Dragoon of Red Eyes. There's a lot of people who are teching this in because it's really easy to make with like Verte Anaconda and Red Eyes Fusion. Uh, I don't want to tech it into other decks because I think it's going to be limited or it's going to be hit. Especially in the TCG, I think they're going to hit Red Eyes Fusion. Um, okay. We're going to go Magician's Rod. Hello. My name is Rod. Nice to meet you. And we're going to go for the Soul Servant. Because again, why, why you can draw two. That's even better. So we're going to stack the thing we need, which is this. Eternal Soul. And then we're going to draw it plus a bonus card. Yay, bonus cards. Hey, ho. Um, and then I could... Oh, he put that in an inopportune place. Relinquished anima. Slurpy, slurpy. Thank you. Let's just hit him with a lot of damage. Bada bingo. Bada bango. Not just a lot of damage, all the damage. <laughs> so yeah, this deck can draw a lot, and I can oftentimes OTK like that, or do something. So I've OTK'd with this before, which if you played if you played Blue, uh, Dark Magician like three or four months ago was not really possible. Or if it was, I didn't know how to do it. I, I tried to play this several times and couldn't make it as good as it is now. But yeah, I just want to get that point across real quick. It's like, Dragoon, probably not going to play it. I tend not to play meta decks. I tend not to play stuff that's going to get banned. I'm making an exception in this deck because this is the only deck that can play Dragoon, like, natively. Uh, if Dragoon gets banned or Red Eyes Fusion gets banned in the future, you don't have to change anything about this deck because it's not built around Dragoon. All you have to do is take it out of the extra deck and replace it with something else. I'm not playing any other cards that Dark Magician wouldn't normally play. As opposed to, like, even if you play this in a Red Eyes deck, you have to play one Dark Magician to make this. Where you would have to, like, change the way you build the deck around it. This one is not, like, you can still win without summoning Red Eyes Dragoon. He just makes it easier. So, there you go. We got one win. Or at least, <laughs> we won't go quietly into the night. Let's see how we do in the third duel. <laughs> Alright, third duel versus my arch nemesis player. And we get to go first. We get to go first, which is really nice. Hmm, 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 hmm. Alright, well we've got these two. This is, you can discard one other spell book from your hand. This is a spell book. So we're going to normal summon this one. And get our dark magic circle. Hey ho. Um, let's go ahead, Dark Magic Circle. And then, before we activate that, let's go ahead, yeah, actually, okay, we're gonna stack, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stack Magician Souls on top, and then we're going to use Spellbook of Knowledge to get rid of this, and draw Magician Souls. Hey, what do you know? That'll help us get the Dark Magician in the... Or we're going to get the Dark Magician girl. Yeah. Just so we have another one. And we get it out of the deck. Uh, special summon? Yes. So we get that. And then we can go ahead and use... Soul Servant to draw a bonus card. Polymerization. Pretty nice. Um, Dark Magic Circle. And then we're going to hope we can get Eternal Soul. We cannot, but we have Magician's Navigation, which is almost as good. We only play it at one, but we have it. Uh, let's see, and then this and this. And normally I would fuse here, but because we drew the one of Magician's Navigation, we're not going to. We're just going to set these. We're going to go ahead and make Link Karibo just as a little bit of defense. You can also use both of these and make like a beat cop and then protect this, but I'm not really afraid of it at the moment. So we're good. And then the reason why you want Dark Magic Circle and then like a way to summon Dark Magician is because if you're unfamiliar with this, when your opponent or when you summon a Dark Magician uh, during either player's turn, you can banish one card, your target, and then banish one card your opponent controls. So being able to summon summon a Dark Magician during the opponent's turn, very important. Um, part of me wants to Solemn Judgment this, but I think no. No. I gotta do this very carefully against Fluffles, because if you let them get... If you, if you 
If you solemn judgment them and then let them get more stuff out, you're going to have a bad time. A very bad time, because they will OTK you easily. Granted, I forgot the Fluffle Bear, and now he can search and do all these things. Maybe he had bricked there, but he still had six cards in hand, or five cards in hand. So I didn't want to, uh, you know, spend half my life points stopping this, and then just have him, like, fuse two times. This way I can stop a polymerization, which can be a pretty big thing. Okay, and he can get that from his deck to his hand. Gotcha. Yep, and then the toy vendor, and then searching. Yeah, Fluffles is, is basically on par with this deck as far as like, and then I draw a card, and then I draw a card, and then I draw a card. Um, yeah, we'll let him do this. Okay, Edge of Chain. Um, destroy one card on both players' fields. All right. That is unfortunate. And then gets the polymerization. Yeah, I probably should have just stopped that. Unfortunately. I may not have enough things to deal with this. Okay, so just destroying himself. This thing is so brutal. And then I can summon another a level uh, 6 or lower. We'll get Apprentice Illusion. Because she can boost attack. And then what do you destroy? You could go for this. Okay, so then I don't get to banish anything, but that's fine. Oh yeah, and when this is summoned, you get to add a Dark Magician from deck to hand. So more deck thinning. Always want to deck thin. If I can have one spellcaster left, I might have a chance to do more stuff. Dolphin. Alright, but because I have this... And because I have... Okay. So I know he's got Polymerization. I know he's got Fright for Fusion. But I can stop both of those. The real question is, do you have something else after that? Alright, and this gets something back. I mean, we'll find out. And then can you OTK me through the Link Karibo and the Apprentice Illusion Magician? That is the big question. <laughs> oh, it's except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. Yeah, I only have one Magician's Navigation, so I forgot how it worked. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm just gonna say I'm dead. We'll be back if something happens, but I'm 90% sure I'm dead. I thought I could still negate because I still had this up, but I was wrong. <laughs> Alrighty then, here we are. The fourth duel versus Savici. Savic? Oh. Kevic? Kevice? Going up against first turn heroes. Interesting. If they make Dark Law, I might be in for a spot of bother. Vision heroes, I have no idea. I'm in for I'm in for a round of combos though, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna chill out for that. I'll just I'll be back. We'll be back when it's over. <laughs> Alright, and here's what we got, and unfortunately I'm in for a pretty bad time. He's got the absolute zero. If I if he if I if I'm correct, basically what you do with this is you have absolute zero and then you have uh what you call it mask change and you absolute zero into masked hero acid and when this leaves the field you destroy all your opponent's monsters and when acid is summoned you destroy all their spell traps. And then the rest of this is just showing off essentially. Um I might still be able to do something. I basically just got to bait that out, though. But getting over 3,300 is not going to be easy. Fortunately, we could put that in the graveyard and draw. We've got some things to do. Unless you're going to activate that immediately. He's also got the dark, so he could make mass law. Which would suck, but it would also clear me to, to actually do stuff. Having Acid come down and wipe my spell traps is like the worst thing that could happen to me. This deck loses hard to spell trap removal. Um, not as hard as it used to be. Like, a single Twin Twisters won't end the game for you like it used to. But, fuck man. <laughs> Bad shit can happen. Let's normal summon this. Activate. We're gonna discard the Dark Magician. To try to get our own polymerization. Polly Wally, dude, all the day. 
Hey. He's thinking hard. Thinking hard or hardly thinking. <laughs> so we'll get this. I feel like Dragoon would put a rather big damper on his plans. So if we could get him to do that immediately in fear of a Dragoon, then I might be in a good place. Um, okay. Yep, and then we're going to polymerization. What you think about that? Okay, he's letting it go through. Very interesting. All right, and now... Yeah, I think what we're going to do, battle phase. We're Oh, wait. Um, target one card on the field and destroy it. I forgot about Sunriser. It's any hero. Okay. All right, then. What we're going to do, then? Magician Souls. We're going to send Mahad to fill up the deck. Uh, summon this card? Yes. Or fill up the graveyard, rather. We're going to do that, and then we're going to Spellbook of Knowledge. Mask change. All right. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking. Actually, it won't destroy Dragoon. It'll destroy this. Yeah, let's go ahead. We got to keep it from happening. Unless you've got a second one. But the destruction will happen on a separate chain either way. So I'd still get my draws and everything. And this goes to 4,000 now, which is nice. Hey! Now, please, let me get... If I can get the, the draw card, I forget what it's called. Okay, he's taking the Dark Magic. That sucks, but... Yes, Soul Servant! I'll still get to draw two. I just won't have the Dark Magician on top. Although, now we know what this is. Uh, oh, but I'll stack it and that'll cause it to redo. Okay. Okay, so Soul Servant. Let's put... This on top? Yeah. Oh, wait, no. We need Eternal Soul. Eternal Soul on top, and then we'll get to draw two. There we go. And that's it. And we don't have a Dark Magician anymore, which sucks, because we can't banish any... Oh, wait. I completely forgot about this. Why did I forget about this? Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. So very, very dumb. I could have done that before and then attacked without without worrying about it. Ah, uh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I get so wrapped up in the fact that this is immune and can negate and can do all this other stuff. Okay, well, that doesn't destroy Dragoon, though. So... I've still got a 4,000 that can negate you and get bigger. And I can add, the whatchamacallit. <laughs> I've just got to hope he doesn't have a way over this. I've basically just got to stop him from fusion summoning anything. He could always link. Um, plasma? Okay. Oh wait, plasma, yeah, that can just end my life, can't it? <laughs> All right, the yep, and then my attack goes down. Rip a Roni. 34. Oh, he gains half. Damn, is that exactly game? Or slightly more than game? No, yeah. 200 more than game. Fuck. This is not looking so great. And that one was entirely my fault. I'm sorry. I try to do my best, but sometimes these things happen. And I pride myself on this show's being realistic. I don't cut out the times when I make big fuck off mistakes. But you know, that's what I could have. I could have destroyed Sunriser. I could have attacked over two things. He would have had significantly less. And then maybe he couldn't have done that. Probably. Hard to say. Either way, let's go into the fifth duel. 
Alrighty then, here we are, the fifth duel versus Superbian. Will we be able to redeem ourselves in the eyes of the Lord? Hard to say, hard to leg. Let's go ahead and use Spellbook of Secrets, see if we can bait something out. Who likes to bait? Nope, okay. Magician of Prophecy. Got that. Let's go ahead and activate the Spellbook of Secrets, because if we can get a Dark Magician or something to get one, we can use Keeper of Dragon Magic. Um, our, uh, Dark Magician? Yeah, we'll get the Eternal Soul. Okay. So, we don't have the means to really fusion, because we can't get the Dark Magician, so we're going to go ahead and activate this one instead. Hey, Spellbook of Knowledge. And then if they ash this, we're fucked. We're fucked. <laughs> Welp. A sad state of affairs. Why is Ash so popular today? I haven't had these problems in testing. <laughs> I got hit with Effect Veiler. I've been hit with a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, you know, no. Stop it. Get some help. No normal summon for you. Um, add one appliancer from your deck to your hand, except a field spell. Alright, do the appliancers have, like, a monster reborn? If they do, I'm fucked. I'm gonna lose to appliancers. I'm pretty sure, because I tried to build them. Yeah, if you stop their normal summon, they're just, there's nothing they can do. Activate the effect now? Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead. Again, you just want to deck thin, so you're more likely to get something useful. All right. Sure. I'll... I, I, <laughs> I don't think I want to count that, you know, we'll take the wins where we can get them. But we're going to go, we're going to roll right into the sixth duel. Let's see if we can get an actual back and forth where I do stuff. That would be neat. <laughs> All right, sixth duel versus Burnsby? Burmpsy? That's that's difficult to pronounce. Oh hey, three of my favorite dudes all in a row. Just what I always wanted. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, that's, that's sarcasm, by the way. You don't want this, not at all, not in the slightest. Uh, dark magic circle, yeah, because we've already got the dark servant that we can't even activate because we don't have a dark magician in the graveyard, which is what we want. Dark magical circle. Um, reveal one dark, yeah. There we go. Now we got a dark magician. Let's put that on top. Hopefully we can draw into it. Um, then we can special summon this by discarding that. What do you know? Add a dark magician. Bobbity boopy. Bobbity beepy. Um, and then we're going to... Yeah, magician souls... Uh, oh wait, no, we need Eternal Soul. Should we get Magician Souls? Uh, yeah, Eternal Soul. Eternal Soul. Draw one. There we go. How's it going? That's, that's what we got. <laughs> I've yet to get the kind, I may have to make a replay for this to show off what this deck can do. I've got a bunch of replays where like, I make these huge, oh, Jet Synchron. Oh, how I hate you. Yeah, I have, I have a bunch of replays where I get these huge impenetrable boards with a whole bunch of neat things. Oh, bo oh God. I was be like, oh, I got to stop that with Eternal Soul, but now he's going to have three of them. Shit. Goddamn Morphtronics. Morphtronics are not good, but if they get this opening play, they could do some pretty crazy shit. Because each one of these is like, summon a Morphtronic from the top of your deck. Just do it. Just have fun. So if you open with one and then machine dupe, you could just activate each one of them and it's like roll a dice. And then for every number, you can special summon a level four or lower Morphtronic from the top of your deck. He didn't get one that time. But this one's a tuner. I'm just not sure what to stop. I've got one negate. And then this one is add the excavated Morphtronic card to your hand. 
Yeah, and it's like, if they get anything other than this, or if you can somehow stop the cell phone, the first cell phone from activating, then you're good. Then you're set. Otherwise, hyper librarian. Okay, you know what? All right. You know what? Let's just get rid of the hyper librarian. Because I don't want you drawing cards. Graveyard, yes. So you get to summon your tuner. That's fine. Go ahead. I do not care. Remoten. And yeah, we're just going to banish this immediately. So whatever shenanigans you want to get up to, that's fine. At least you don't get to draw every single time, every single time you do it. And then he gets another, yeah. And then from here, it's basically, I, I've been asked to play Morphtronix several times. And the thing about it is that there's nothing Morphtronix can, can do that you couldn't do with like Jet Synchron plus something else better and more consistently. Like, it seems like they're doing a whole lot now, but that's because they have, they again, they started with cell phone machine duplication, which very rarely happens. But once you do that, you're just using it, yeah, Auroradon. Auroradon, Halka Febrax combos. The same combos that every deck can do, they just start them differently. They start them in a way that's inconsistent. <laughs> but you can't, there's no, there's no, like, Morphtronic boss monsters, really. There's, like, Power Tool Dragon which is generic anyway, so if you wanted to do combos with Power Tool Dragon, you could. It's just, I I, I, it, I really don't get it, because it's, you're, you're basically playing the meta. You're just playing it in a way that you only get to do the meta combos once in a blue moon instead of consistently. I just, yeah, I don't know, it's weird to me. Like, mechanically it doesn't make sense, and then it also doesn't make sense, like, some people just play for fun because they want to play, like, a cool archetype. I mean, that's what I'm doing here with Dark Magicians. Dark Magicians, not great, but it's fun to do the unique Dark Magician stuff. I can end with a board that has, like, these monsters you don't normally see, but these are, like, the same monsters. Well, I guess this isn't, but this isn't, like, unique to Morphtronics. Cosmic Blazar? All right. Okay, so there are better ways to make Blazar again, but you got the negate. It's pretty neat. So, blowing that up, you get the attack there, and then Dark Magician survives. Yay. A card or effect. Brutal. Okay. So, yeah, I think what I want to do is summon this, because the one thing that could get over that would be, like, a Dragoon. So, we're going to try the Dragoon. Plus, we've got two Magician's Rods we can get rid of. He doesn't know about the other Dark Magician in our hand. Alright, but what are you going to make here? You can make a three? Avramax. Okay, I can't target that, but I can still kind of get rid of it with different ways. Uh, let's go for this. Yeah, and then we're going to Polymerization. Okay, you negate that. Oh, but this cannot... Can't be targeted with card effects. Okay, so do I have a way to get over that without card effects? I have Quintet Magician. That's gonna suck. Target one card and destroy it. I could make an Avramax of my own. Um, I could... But I don't have the materials to make an Avramax of my own, unfortunately. Verte, how many cards do I have in the graveyard? One, two... Oh, this is a dragon. One, two, three... Yeah, unfortunately I can't make that in a way that it would... You can make this. This blows up the field if you make it with five different cards. But you can't do that at the moment. Or I can't do that at the moment. Yep, let's just add Thousand Knives to our hand. There we go. I can make a link three. Well, I can do that. Oh, wait, no, I'm locked into... I can't make links right now. Okay. Yep. That shit sucks. 
And then if I activate this because it's card or a... F God damn it. Destroy one card on the field and then... Yeah, I'm gonna lose to fucking Morphtronics. This shit sucks. Ugh, maybe I should just cancel this episode. Who even needs an episode? <laughs> Depression is a place I live. It's a state of being. It's a place I live. It's scissors time. Played me like a fiddle and cut my strings. Yep, I haven't been able to make any of the cool plays that I wanted to. A sad state of affairs. Now I'm going up against my Akashi. Is it still tilted if you're not angry? You're just like, uh, how did I mess this up? I had one shot to show the, the best that dark magicians could be. Not the best, but to show how cool they could be. The amount of, like, drawing three that I'm getting off is a lot less than normal. And we're getting this stuff. Yep, I still stand by my old comments, by the way. Even though they didn't do the exact, uh, whatchamacallit. The exact combos that, like, Eldritch would do. Like, other decks can make, uh, Cosmic Blazar probably better. I'm trying to remember because I've done it. And I believe there's a way to do it, like, really, really quickly that doesn't involve drawing, hard drawing machine dupe and hoping you open with Selfon or one for one. Okay, well, at least he's ending on this. Uh, so what do we want to do? We want to do some stuff, man, and some things. Let's go ahead and start with Dark Magical Circle. Um, alright. Reveal a Dark Magician card. Yep, you can only activate one per turn, so that doesn't really help us. Uh, let's go for these two. And then what we're gonna do... Yeah, I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna activate this. I'm gonna send Dark Magician to the graveyard. And then, instead of summoning this, we're going to send it to the graveyard and summon a Dark Magician. From our graveyard. Because you can do that. You don't do that in any other deck that uses Magician Souls. But you want to do it here, because then you'll banish their, uh... Their monster. And make them have a bad time. Interesting that you wouldn't tribute that off, but I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, but it, yeah, that won't then it won't resolve because it's continuous. Interesting. I can set one. Let's see. I could do that, but it would... Now, I have another Dark Magician. Let's go ahead and activate Magicalize Fusion. We can get the Dark Magicians, which is Dark Magician and a uh, Spellcaster monster. Hey, how's it going? And then, because we have two spells in the graveyard, we can banish both of them. Beep boop. To add something from our deck to our hand. What do we want to add, though? Um, not much. I think navigation is what we want to do. Because we can't activate another circle, and we have one anyway. We can't activate this, because this is in the graveyard. Um, yeah, we're just going to go for navigation. And then when you activate a spell card, or, uh, what was it? If a spell trap effect is activated once per turn during either player's turn, you can draw a card, and then if it's a spell trap, you can set it, and it can be activated this turn. Yeah. We'll go ahead and... Yep, we'll get that thing. We don't want to summon the Dark Magician, because that will turn off Magician's Navigation. And then we'll set, and we'll set another one. There we go. And Bob's your uncle. Not in a great position, but we've done something. Uh, okay. So you activate that. Search a Mayakashi. Getting the ice Mayakashi, and then that'll activate this. And if we're lucky, we can search... Nope. If you're lucky, you can draw Solemn Judgment and then immediately set it and then have a whole bunch of shit you could do, which is funny. or And then be able to activate it that turn. If it was a trap or a quick play, you can activate it that turn. Oh, you're playing Glow Up Bloom. 
You bastard. Oh, it's just for Jack of Bullen. Okay. I thought I was going to see the whatchamacallit Baylor Drock come down here. That would have been sad times at Ridgemont High. All right. So there's the boo. What do? Okay, and then he's going to summon that. Hey, June. Hey, June. Oh, no, that's Tengu. I don't know who I'm getting that confused with. Uh, yeah. Blow that up. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's sad. That's two. Um, but when this is destroyed, you can summon the Dark Magicians from your deck. Hello. Me too. So, you can't OTK me. In fact, I can get another one out. And something else. Uh, yeah. In fact, I will do that. Because... Get Dark Magicians. And we can get... Apprentice Illusion Magician. And then I have so many. Okay, he's going for that first. Damn, I was hoping he wouldn't pay attention. But now you can only kill two. And two is less than the number you need. Yukiona, the ice Mayakashi. Ice is nice. I am going down significantly. Fortunately, I have the dark magic attack, which will help significantly. Fuck you. Get out of there. This is dark, right? So I can... Okay, let's go ahead. Dark Magical Inheritance. Banish the Heritance and the Magic Attack. Uh, we're going to get Soul Servant, of course. Soul Servant. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and activate it. Uh, we're going to put... Where's he at? Mahad on top of our deck. And then we're going to draw two. Toolbox Elements. Hey, I've drawn Mahad, and therefore can summon Mahad. What up, buddy? How's it going? Um, yeah, and Mahad, if you're unfamiliar, if it attacks a dark monster, it uh, gains, it goes up to 5,000 attack, which is neat. Target one zombie in either player's graveyard. All right. The one that mills three? Oh, fuck. Well, there's my last Eternal Soul. That shit sucks. All right. Um, well, first of all, we want to attack... Oh, I can't attack that while he controls one. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to go for this first. Get some damage in. Which is fine. Its attack and defense become halved. Oh, okay. You want to blow up Mahad? No, Dark Magician Girl. That was probably the smart move. And then kill Daki. Gotta deny the Link material. Alright. Um, activate. Um, Alright. Set that on top. And then we're going to go ahead. You could summon one from your hand or deck. Do I have any more Dark Magicians in the deck? I do. I have one more. Unless one's banished. One is banished. One, two... Three. Okay, that puts me in a bit of a bind then, unfortunately. Um, okay, if that's the case, then I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, wait, no, this will still work. Because, yeah, Magician Souls is on top. So, we could send the last one from our graveyard. Special summon a Dark Magician from the graveyard. That'll trigger the Dark Magical Circle. Banishing that. 
That way we don't have to deal with it anymore. Um, red Eyes Flare Metal? I think let's Red Eyes Flare Metal. That'll be fun. Can't do anything with it. But now if you want to do Synchro Shenanigans, you're going to have a bad time. Just burn for all the damage. Plus it has more attack. Oh, that has a graveyard effect. <laughs> oh, but I'm going to die, aren't I? Yep. Death is becoming me. I have become death. Why am I doing... I, I played this last night on stream and won like every single game I played. And I don't know why now it's suddenly, like, so terrible. Why I just can't win, like, a single game or do anything that I want to do. Uh, I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> Alrighty then, here we are. Duel number eight. I've taken a little break between duels. Watched a little video. Done a little thing. Uh, let us see if that has improved anything about what what's going on and, and stuff. Uh... <laughs> Let's see here. What do I want to do? I think we're going to... Yeah, let's try Dark Magical Circle first. Because that's not guaranteed to get us something, although it did get us something. Hey. Um, boop, boop. And then I've got to choose what to normal summon. I think we want to go for the fusion, so let's go ahead. We're going to get rid of Magician's Soul. Kapow. And that'll get us the Dark Magician. Hello. And then we're going to Keeper of Dragon Magic. And that'll discard Dark Magician to get us Polymerization. And then we can summon the Dark Magician. Reveal that so they don't they don't surrender immediately. And then Fusion summon a Dragoon. Cause I ain't messing around, son. There we go. And then we can go ahead and Soul Servant. And because we've got the Dragoon on the field, we're going to get uh, Magician's Navigation. Because that's like, it's a one of, and we pretty much play it so we can discard it. There we go. So we've got something to discard with this. That'll give us a negate in the future. We've got the Eternal Soul to get Dark Magician back. And the Dark Magic Circle to negate. This is like optimal first turn. Alright, well I have to negate that because otherwise... Oh wait, no I don't. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and negate it. I have to negate that because then I won't have... Yeah, I could, I could summon Dark Magician out right now. But I really don't want to get rid of that. All right, Photon Thrasher. Thrashing my photons. And A. Uh, why can't I activate this in response to the normal summon? Well, that is shit. Ah, okay. Union Driver. Okay, so I want to banish A to stop him from having access to ABC in the first place. So we're going to do that. We're going to get Dark Magekin, Defense Mode, and we're going to do this, and we're also going to do Magician's Rod. When a Dark Magician is summoned, you contribute it, or maybe it's a Spellcaster, I forget. Uh, let's see. If you activate a spell trap or effect while this card is in the graveyard, you contribute a spell cast or add this card to your hand. Yeah, so I can get this back to have a normal summon next turn while getting rid of stuff. He's going to have the ability to make uh, uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity. It can't target Dragoon, though, and I don't think it can get high enough to get over Dragoon. So... I think we're set. We can just attack over that as soon as the, the turn starts. And then just do the rest of everything in main phase two. Yeah, so we're just going to Dragoon over CDI. And then Magician Souls. No, we don't want to negate it. 
Summon Dark Magekin. Activate this. Banish that. Attack for 2,500. Bada bingo. Normal summon. Add some more stuff. I think we're pretty much just, like, good, but just to be safe, you know? Uh, we'll get this. And then what we're going to do is use Beat Cop, because you can get two dark monsters. And then you can tribute this to put a counter on Eternal Soul. And then if it would be destroyed, it is not. And they surrendered, as they probably should, because they had no cards and no way to come back, and that was probably overkill. But after losing as many as I did, I wanted to make sure I got that in. But yeah, that's what happens when the deck works. It's a pity it took me eight duels to get there. But you can see sort of how these things are building. From there, I can get Magician Souls. I could put Dark Magician Girl in the graveyard. I could maybe send that to draw a card. I can get more things. And then you're just going to start piling on resources and it'll be, it'll be funny. Uh, let's go into the ninth duel. <laughs> okay, dokie, here we are. The ninth duel versus Yuzaku. Uninteresting name. It sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh protagonist. I am the Yu-Gi-Oh. I was considering just naming myself Yu-Gi, but I uh, don't think that works very well. Or I mean, it, does, it works very well, but I don't want to be too presumptuous. I thought this was more, more funny. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to get Dark Magic Circle. The Great Starter card. Activate that. Um, all right. Reveal one Dark Magician card. Yep, Inheritance. Hmm. Okie dokie. So what do we want to do from here? Okay, we're going to Foolish Burial. To send Dark Magician. We're going to special summon this to get another Dark Magician. Well, there we go. Now that we've got Dark Magician and a Spellcaster in the graveyard, we can Magicalize Fusion to get the Dark Magicians. Howdy ho. And then because we have two spells in the graveyard, we could send both of them to use Magician's Inheritance. Um, and get our Eternal Soul. Hey, neat. And then we get to draw a card. Because we activated a spell trap. Set the card? No. Although that is... Oh, we can't use it though. Having another one of these would be good if you wanted to get rid of stuff in the extra deck. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, you know, we're going to set this so we have two things for them to potentially hit. They don't know which one is the Eternal Soul. But yeah, my extra deck, I have two Entis in there. You might have seen them and been like, why do you have two Entis if you didn't watch the deck profile? Hopefully I mentioned it there, but it's basically because a lot of people are playing Dogmatica, aka Dragma. And uh, they're going to be sending cards from your extra deck to the graveyard. And I like to counter that by having a couple Entis of my own so we can pop their shit. Sure, I'll draw a card. Uh, nope. Dang, I'm getting every fusion. It's just like Discount Fusion Warehouse up in here. Not a whole lot of disruption, unfortunately. That's the thing about the, the Dark Magicians is you can't get a lot of disruption. You got at most one Banish, one Negate. Uh, destroy all spell traps. So I could keep my monsters, or I can... Yeah, we're gonna be fine. That sucks, but because this was face down, it doesn't wipe the field. So we've at least got enough stuff for them to attack through. Blue Eyes versus Dark Magician! The Eternal Battle commences! Who amongst you will have what it takes? What you gonna pop, buddy? The Dark Magicians? Yep, that's what I thought. You fool! That allows me to summon the Dark Magicians! Yo, what's up? Howdy. 
So we've got more. But yeah, I would definitely have another one of these. The other two fusions we have in here. Um, these two require dragons. And this is any spellcaster, but you gotta have five of them. Which, to be fair, with what I have right now, I could, I could summon five of them. Um, target one, neither player can activate this card's effects that turn. Interesting. All right. So rank eight, am I going to be, am I going to be OTK'd somehow? I'm trying to remember what the, the rank eight pool is, what they could possibly make. Pain gainer into like seven sins or something? Wipe the field? He wants to make sure. Either way, I might be... It depends what he does. Because we do also have access to... Oh, wait, no. We already used... Uh, magicalized Fusion. We already used... Or we lost this because I said it. Which was probably foolish in hindsight. Yes, yeah, so all we've got this. Because I was thinking, like... You know, as long as he leaves, like, Dark Magician, another monster, and we have another monster, we can get two. We can always activate Verte Anaconda and send whatever. But we don't have any more fusions left in the deck. We just play the three. We play the Magicalize, again, because you can use it with uh, with several different things. You can search it with uh, the, the Keeper of Dragon Magic, and you can use it with Verte Anaconda to make, like, Quintet Magician. Especially late game, that can sometimes just close things out. We play the one polymerization to search off uh, dragon magic because that's much easier. It doesn't banish your dark magicians. And then we play this because it's searchable and it's a quick play. So you can activate it in the battle phase, like attack, attack, and then activate that to summon the dark magicians or dragoon and, and do even more damage. All right, going for Hope Harbinger. So you're only going to be able to get rid of one. Okay, there's two. <laughs> It's like, you're only going to be able to get rid of one monster. So now I can get rid of two, but I should still be able to make, like, fucking, whatchamacallit? Uh, Nightmare Unicorn? Nightmare Cerberus. Hey, that gives Dark Magician Girl slightly more attack. Yay. We did it. And then getting rid of this, which can't activate its effect this turn. But next turn, I could beat over things. So yeah, I could use Cerberus to get rid of that, but then what can I polymerization? Oh, but there's that. Okay, so yeah, I probably need to do that. Uh, let's go ahead. Nightmare Cerberus. We're just going to discard the Dark Magician, kill that. Oh, but Keeper of the Dra Return of the Dragon Lords. Uh, I'm dumb. Um, and he could just negate that. Fuck. I keep going up against stuff and they have like the one negate that like I can't negate. And then I've already used my Magicalized Fusion because I started with it. And, uh, why did I forget Return of the Dragon Lords? It wouldn't have mattered all that much. Because I couldn't even like bait it out by pretending to activate Polymerization. Add up to two dragons. Okay, and then he's just going to get... Uh, how do these things... Where's my, my, my cards that let me, like, draw three? <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening here. Like, why I'm losing these. I feel like, you know, again, with the replays, last night I was... I was ending these turns with, like, full boards and then, like, five cards on the field. Granted, I set that one fusion, but it doesn't wouldn't really matter all that much. Drag, drag, you uh, Good job, Kai. But he did the thing and the grandpa and whatever. Let's go into the tenth duel. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are. The final duel versus Touche. Oh, I get it. I get it saying it out loud. Like, Touche, salesman. What will you not? You didn't spell it right. No word is spelled with a number as far as I'm concerned. And we're going probably second. A sad state of affairs. It's been a while since I've had one that didn't break the 50% mark. I didn't think it would be this. I thought it would be like megaliths. I don't know, maybe I was too cocky. Getting too penisy there, kid. Hard to say, hard to leg. 
Hard to eat a broken egg. We're going against zombies again. A baller Drock's gonna destroy my soul. We open with the one of Dark Magician Girl. Oh, against Eldlich? Okay. I think we have a slightly better matchup against them. Because they, you know, Baller Drock's just gonna... Okay, it is Baller Drock. <laughs> yeah, I can't use Spellbook of Knowledge because I need to have a spell Spellcaster monster I control. And I have to send another Spellbook. So opening with two of these while they have Zombie World on the field just means, like, I can't... Normally I can, like, Magician Soul, send something to the graveyard and then use Spellbook of Knowledge on it to draw two. And then do more things, and more stuff for more things, and more stuff things to get more things. And now the animals are helping, which means society. But in this case, no. No, not quite. Granted, I could still discard these with Magician Souls. I haven't used that effect. It's weird because that's in most decks that play Magician Souls, it's like a draw engine. You summon it, and then you can discard two spell traps to draw two cards. And when I first played this, I was like, why does why do you do that in Dark Magicians? Because there's only, like, one card that you want in the graveyard. But then it's like, no, you mostly want it for the other effect, where you can, like, if you have a Dark Magic Circle, you can just special summon a Dark Magician out of the graveyard and instantly make your opponent have a bad time. So, they get the Conquistador. It's weird that they're not activating the Necro Banshee. I guess it's a quick effect, so maybe they're seeing what we have first. Taking a long time to decide which spell. I feel like there's only one you could really do. Isn't there only like one good spell that's like a quick play? Oh wait, you can get a trap? Oh, it's an Eld Elixir, which, okay. Gotcha. Ah, understandable. Um, okay. Activate. We're going to send Dark Magician. We're going to, yeah, summon this card. And we'll see if they chain the Necro World Banshee. Oh. Summon the Eldritch immediately. Or one zombie from your deck. And there's the zombie world. Oh, and the Baller Drock. Yep, okay. So now I can't use the Spellbook of Knowledge. I can... Um... Yeah, because these are pretty much useless in my hand. And then he just negates that. And yeah, I think I just lose. Because then you could just banish my stuff. And then if this is like Haketo, he could just get the Dark Magician out of the graveyard. And that prevents me from doing anything. I could potentially have stopped this if I had gone first because I could have had access to other stuff. Unless you're going to, yeah, just negate the effect now. Oh, okay. But, oh, it negates, but it doesn't destroy it. Hello. That is a nice um, outlet you have there. It would be a shame if someone were to slurp it. I mean, he could banish my am and am and am and ugh. Anima. I'm pretty sure that still, like, just destroys this. Yeah, it just sends it to the graveyard. Okay, well, there's the two. Now I've just got to get, like, super good on my Magician's Rod stuff. And hope this isn't something that's... Well, there you go. And there we go, yep. I mean, I knew we couldn't beat Eldlich... This wasn't a meta deck. I just haven't gone against a meta deck in a long while. They don't usually show up in the casual Yu-Gi-Oh server. <laughs> a sad state of affairs. <laughs> so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Dark Magician Toolbox. We unfortunately went 3 and 7. You know, I never try to bring a deck here unless it can go at least 5 and 5. So when it doesn't go that well, it, it, uh, it always feels bad. It sucks. Especially a deck like this. This is something I've been I've been experimenting with Dark Magicians for like a year now. I've been playing them on and off. Every time they get some new bit of support, I try a new build, I try a new version. And I was really excited about this one. Again, I played for like six hours yesterday. 
and lost maybe a handful of duels out of like 30 or 40. I was feeling really confident about this one and it just didn't turn out. Not sure if it's poor playing on my ability or maybe I just got lucky last night or maybe I had bad, bad opponents, just mismatches or whatever. I don't know. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed it regardless. Maybe you had a nice time. Either way, next episode certainly can't be worse than that. Not sure what I'm playing yet. I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of people wanting me to do decks that are far worse than this for some reason. So I'll, I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, so we'll, we'll see you then. Until then, good luck and have fun. Well, hey there, wizard folk. Welcome to the end of the video. This is where I give my sincere thanks to all the patrons who make this show possible, but especially the high tier patrons who perform the real magic. They are Davon Crushin, Cassie Harper, Tiberius Kane Moriarty, Nightfang, Zero1503, Spoof465, Austin Glover, Chris W, Montry, Aaron McNatt, Daniel Frowsing, Lucas Geardis, Quintingent, Diotic, Mr. Eiffel, Dancing Joker, J3 Puffin, Buster Blader, Emperor Lelouch, Matt, Kirvin, Nathan, King Zirmus, and Demon11006. It is thanks to their generous support that I can continue to keep a positive attitude even when everything seems to go terribly. If you would like to join them and be listed off at the end of each video, the Patreon link is on the screen and in the description. And this episode's secret question of the day is, in the future, do you think I should just cut episodes like this where I play poorly? Perhaps postpone it for a week, try again? Or is the occasional bad run just part of having a regularly scheduled show? Let me know down in the comments. Until next time, stay frosty, Legos.